Hey everyone, this is Shooks from Sugar Coated Chaos. I thought I'd do a little tour of my workstation. Um, if you're following me on Facebook, you've seen the picture that I posted last night of what I did. And it all basically started out with me trying to find my acrylic roller for my clay. Which, by the way, I still have not found it. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I did. And as a disclaimer, this is not the only area that has all my stuff. I guess you can call me a craft supply hoarder. I'm all over the place. It is chaos. So let's go ahead and go ahead and just jump right to it. First, I'm on the swivel chair. So let's do this number first. We <laughs> Yeah, I hope you enjoy that as much as I did. So we're gonna start over here. Over here is the printer. This beast right here is fantastic. It compared to mine, this spits out a lot in good quality. Um I don't remember where my husband got this from. But yes, I um, if you see any of my labels on my packaging or anything like that, it is printed out of this bad boy right here. So both me and him share the printer. So, and over here, we kind of share, because his stuff is over there. And this is, yes, so. Um, he got into, recently got into airbrushing. So he has his airbrushing paints here. His, um, okay. Oh, he has my stuff. I was looking for that. Anyway, of course you remember these guys. I've recently found these things again. I'm not sure if you guys remember these guys right here that I did. So. And I have my sticker machine there, which I need to get a refill cartridge. <laughs> Or like usually like ten to fifteen dollars on Amazon. So, uh oh, uh oh, why won't you close right? Oh, well, we'll figure that out later. So, and this is mine. Wish I knew where my Dremel was. I know he had it before. It's probably somewhere over there. But anyway, um, I'm not quite sure. This used to be a notebook full of drawings, writings, and sketch ideas. And just a bunch of, I got these frames that I'm going to probably um, paint and deco done for the girls for their rooms. So, uh, what's this? A oh, Geek Fest from last year. And if I swivel over here, this area in this corner of my desk is, okay, I have like four bags. Well, actually five bags if you count this bag right here of stuff. And this bag is a bunch of random cut scraps of felt, fabric, and fleece. So, on the edge, uh, yeah. Um, in this bag and that bag over there, it has my bigger, um, like, when I go to Hobby Lobby or whatnot, I get fleece or felt by the yard, especially if I'm working on bigger plushies. So, and then of course, this is my fluff and guts. I'm down to my small bag. I, ha I usually get the big giant bag over at Walmart. Get over there. Um, and this bag right here, um, you guys probably seen this bag from my thrift haul, um, for, I think it was President's Day sale, where everything in the store was half off, and I got this bag, um, it was like three bucks after, after the sale, so, I thought it was perfect to hold my cabs, one cab, back in there, oh, 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 oh that didn't work. Oh, you're going to make me take you out because you can't close now. See what happens. No, get in there. I don't want to take you all out. Let's see. Aha, there we go. And yeah, so I have like three containers of cabs and some embellishments. 
Um, down below is my silicone. If you can probably not see because of the lighting because it's underneath. So, and then below that, I have my monster toolbox. I got this at low, not Lowe's. I think it's no. I don't remember where I got it from, but I got this bad boy. So, if you guys want me to do a separate video to show you what's in my toolbox, give this a thumbs up or leave a comment below because I think that would be fun to go through that and show you what I have in there. So, we go back up and to the right and down and to the left. And that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm so kidding. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and finish it right. Um, up there, I have some paintings I did. Well, these right here and that right there. Um, I did not. I did not do that one. Yeah, I think that's the only one I did not do. I got that from Deviant Art. But I did these two and those two. And then over here, you have my wall of. Basically, I pin up my um, patterns that are slightly bigger that cannot fit in my portfolio. So, except for this, I had to cut down. This was the original drawing of my ninjas that I do. So, I decided to keep her up as inspiration. Um, and then I have her pattern in a sleeve in a drawer in the living room somewhere. I haven't made one of those in forever. Anyway, um, those are the little crates that I got. I don't remember. I, it was either the Dollar Tree, Dollar General. All I know, I, it could be Dollar Tree, but they were originally on my pegboard, but I took those off and cleared them up and decided to hang them up. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in them yet. So. And sorry, I thought I heard a vehicle go in the driveway, so hopefully it's not the Mr. Home walking in on an awkward video of me slouching over on my desk with the video camera, wondering what I'm doing. He's always asking that anyway. <laughs> so, okay. Um, back into the land of touring on the video. Okay. Okay. Let's start over here. Um, the mister made this for me, this little three-tier shelf. I use it. I used it for a Geek Fest last year, and I plan on using it again this year. And right now, it works perfectly for storing my deco den. It looks like a little bakery candy shop, if you can say. And, of course, my tripod. Right now, I'm the tripod, so it's all good, right? So... Here are those. Um, I will post pictures of these three right here in the next few days. These are the new ones that I did, and I'm pretty sure the camera is not focusing right. Um, oh, I don't want to get back up. I have to stand up, don't I? I can't be like, can you see what's in those things up there? <laughs> Got all comfortable. All right, since I love you guys that much, let's get this done. Okay, up here, this um, wire basket I got in the bathroom section of Walmart. I don't remember if it was $4.99 or $7.99, um, but I originally got it for displaying for craft shows. So right now, it is holding my Decoden stuff. I have my compacts, uh, my cupcakes that I made, phone cases, and the DS case. That's so nobody wants. I don't understand. It has... And then one of my pencil cases left out of all the other ones that I sold already. Um, I'm pretty sure I do that. So, um, This basket I got at Hobby Lobby four years ago. I figure it would be great to hold hopefully randomness. Cupcakes go up here. So that's my paint measuring tape, whatnot, just hangs there. So if I need to grab something, I could just reach up there. In this basket, 
this basket right here. I really don't know. It's just a bunch of random. Oh, look. I see you. I see you. Anyway, ha 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 ha. It's getting too hot underneath this lamp. Just like unfinished pieces that I really, yeah. I think I started making this like three years ago and I just don't have the heart to throw it away because I know one day I'll be like, oh, I'll finish it finally. I'm pretty sure you're like that. I guess maybe it's just me. So, of course, one of my Halloween signs that I got at the Dollar Tree four years ago. And then here is George. This is Emma's. He is currently awaiting surgery. Um, my parents' dog decided to do a number on him, so I have to sew him up on the side. Poor, poor George. I'll fix you, George. Give me a day. <laughs> um, those I used for my canvas art. I just keep those up there because I used it only two years ago and I haven't decided to, if I wanted to do more of those for Geek Fest this year or not. And in here, my husband found this a few years ago and I was gonna, I'm probably gonna spray paint it. I just haven't decided yet, but it's great for, you know, for taking to shows to put your charms and your bracelets and whatnot, your jewelry, your hanging type stuff on there. I got this from a swap. This is from Halloween. Like I said, when I was clearing this area, I found stuff that I forgot that I had. And I was like, I can use that. But I can use that. I can hang that somewhere. So yes. And then over here is another thing that I got from a swap. It came after Christmas, but I did not want to put it in storage because it was just too pretty to put up in storage for another, yeah, until next year. <laughs> of course, you know what this is. At least I hope you know what that is. It's a disc that you throw at zombies. Let's stay with that. And then over here, of course, is my awesome sewing machine. If I'm not hand sewing plushies, I am using this gal right here. Yeah. Let my thread. It's not the itty bitty threads. It's like the massive thread. It was actually bigger than that. <laughs> it's taking a while. It works, right? Um, before we go to that side, that side, so that side over there and up, we're going to go down for a little bit because I wanted to show you this little, if you can see, my desk. Basically, I got this roll. Um, it's um, You can find it in the kitchen section. And in the kitchen section is like, it's basically where you um, stick this stuff on the inside of your shelves or your cabinets. I decided to use this to bring some color to my desk area. So I think it works. Um, same thing with this right here. It's just a decor type sign. I am going to use it for my clay clean the surface, have a perfect surface to roll up my clay and everything like that, and then easy cleanup. Instead of using my desk or something else, because usually it tends to collect dog hair and randomness. Um, over here, since I'm sitting down already, I'm getting comfy, I have these jars. These jars I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, basically they're the little vases. I guess you can find these in the candle section because that's a candlestick right there and I just hot glue it at an angle and found it more appealing to the eye and open so I can see. So I have my embroidery thread, my bobbin, and my labels for my plushies. Uh, instead of putting it upright on the candlestick, I put it at an angle so it's easy for me to just reach in while I'm working. So, ooh, my battery's about to die. So let's speed this up. So since we're over here, this is my um, shipping section. I have this right here. This is where I keep all my receipts from the post office. And then you have my tissue for wrapping stuff. My six by five boxes for my jars my bubble wrap, or my bubble mailers bubble wrap, 
my peacock, um, my jar that I got from, well, actually bought it from the thrift store. I got those at the same time as that because I got that for my birthday four years ago. Got this from Target. This is going to be my outgoing box. I usually ship using these things right here because they're much more lightweight than these. So, let's go up here real quick. Ah, don't die on me, camera. So, yes, this is another shelf that I got through from the thrift store that I put on my pegboard. This is my shelf that I have for, that I got for my friends. My friends made these for me. I got them from a swap. That one I had forever. That's why the eyes are kind of like not existent. My ninja. Um, these facial wipes that I got from Five Below, I use it to clean the surface of when I'm working with clay. So, letters, box full of my like, stuff to my um, sewing machine and random patterns. The onigori that I made last year and I decided to keep these because Lillian was the one who painted the faces and they're just too cute. I just had to keep them there. Um, glue, my zip ties, more thread, more awesomeness. So yeah, I think that's it. Look at Patter's gonna die. Patter's gonna die. But anyway, this was Shooks from Sugar Coated Chaos. And I really hope you enjoy this video. Now I'm gonna go try to charge this camera up just a little bit more so I can put this on the computer, edit it, and put it on there for you guys to see. So I really hope you guys like what I did. Because I did. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. So I will talk to you guys later. If you guys can follow me on Facebook, I'll leave the link below. Make sure you guys subscribe. And if you guys want me to do a little tour on my toolbox below, just let me know. Um, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.